Welcome back, cybersecurity experts. We are on Security Lab 1.2.3, Process Management. And if you read the beginning of this lesson, they talk about processes are programs or applications that are running on your computer. There are some that are running in the background, and there are some that are running uh, in the foreground are ones that you can actually see, like that things that are running down here in the taskbar are things that you can see. But there are also things that sometimes don't show up there. And there's lots of programs running in the background or processes anyway, running in the background that help the operating system work, help Windows work. And so we're going to investigate um, into processes in this lesson on how to manipulate them, how to work with them, how to see what's running and what's taking up um, processor time on your computer, as well as trying to figure out what might be malware. So we're going to be doing it in smaller chunks. So every little section, I'm going to record a video on this. And right now we're going to be covering like the first six or I think the first seven steps of 1.2.3. And so we're going to get started and they ask us to start a couple of applications. So they ask us to start a file explorer, which is just clicking on this little icon folder icon down here. So I'm going to kick that up. I'm just going to drag it over here to the side. Um, they want us to start up a Chrome browser. So we're going to start that up. You can just click on it there, or you can double click on the desktop version too. And then they also want us to start Notepad. So I'm going to click on the Start menu, which is the four windows, start typing Note, and Notepad pops up, and I can click on that, and it starts that up as well. So we got three essentially programs running in the foreground that we can see on the computer. Now in step three, they want us to be able to see those. And to do that, we have to get to the task manager. And task manager is kind of a place that I look as an administrator to see what's happening with my computer or it, what might be going wrong. And to get into that, we come down here to the taskbar down here at the bottom, and we can right click on it. Uh, for you with Chromebooks, that's a two finger tap. I'm going to right click on it. and right up from the bottom, there's one called Task Manager. And that's what I'm going to click on, and that's going to bring up a new window, a new program, a new process that we can work with. Okay, sometimes I'll say window, sometimes we'll say program, sometimes we'll say process. App program or process is kind of the same thing. Okay, so we're right there at step three and have the Task Manager up. Okay, they say tasks and processes are synonymous, meaning they mean the same thing. Okay, it says click on the users tab here in step five. And there's only one user logged into the computer right now, the administrator. That's us. And you can see that here um, what's going on. We're using different percentages of the CPU, the central processing unit. All right, that's the main thing that makes the computer run. And then we're using 30% of the memory on the computer, sometimes known as RAM. RAM is an acronym that stands for Random Access Memory. And that's where processes, tasks, programs are stored. Okay, all those words can kind of mean the same thing. I'll try and use the word processes or process here uh, majority of the time. And you can see it's changing. So how do we know what's going on? So in step six, they ask us to move over to the performance tab. And you can see all the different things that are going on. It gives you a graph look. They can talk about the C drive. They talk about the internet, the ethernet. That's the network. Apparently it's got two of them and one of them's got traffic going over it because we're accessing it. So there's gotta be traffic going over it for us to be able to do stuff. Okay, and there's some other different things going on here, too. It tells you the max speed, um, handles, threads, processes. Some of these we're not going to get into now. Those get pretty in-depth of what's going on. But to be able to see how much CPU you're using might lead you to understand what's going on with your computer. And then uh, in step seven, the uh, CPU indicates showing an open browser and visit one of your favorite websites when the page finishes loading, close the browser. What happens to the CPU usage when you visited the website? So we're going to drag this CPU thing over. I'm going to click on 
Chrome, and I'm going to drag that over to the other side so you can kind of see the CPU process and the browser at the same time. So let's say we're going to bring up uh, Wikipedia. Okay, you can see what happened to the CPU when that loaded. We didn't even get there, so if I bring up Wikipedia, you can kind of watch that process again. Nope, refuse to connect. And then if you close it down, you can see that it spiked up and then dropped back down. Okay, so you can see that the it's now really running slow. Only 3%, 2%, 3%, utilization. So that means we're really not using a lot of processor. Even though we've got a couple of processes open, it's really not using that much. So you can see here, they asked some questions here at step seven. Check that out and see where you might be at. So we're going to stop here on that before we get into shortcuts and application files, which starts at uh, step eight, which we'll start with the next video.